Ella Krynock and I'm in fifth grade and I'm at Riverside Intermediate School. My name is Quentin Price. I go to Riverside Intermediate School. Well, Miss Cooper invited me and Quentin back to Washington for the barn quilt presentation. This was a fourth grade project last year and we had the opportunity to have it actually posted and up. So we want you to understand what this means and why it's so special to us. We were doing a project in Mrs. Riddle's classroom. We taught our students about the different symbols that were used during the Civil War. The different symbols got them to freedom. So we have several quilts on our trail that were symbols used in the Underground Railroad. Corey Humes from Marshall County Tourism does give every student a map of all the barn quilts in Marshall County. So the students get a small board and they design it themselves and then they were able to paint it and then write about it. And all the fourth graders were able to vote for one and the staff also voted for one. My barn quilt was chosen to be on the school. It was a team of two, it was a whole effort. I think it's amazing to see. I was just really proud of it. Whenever we're driving as a family, I always point out, barn quilt, barn quilt. And it is the first school in the Marshall County area to have one. It's just an exciting feeling that a piece of, you know, their history will be on the school forever. On the count of three, we're gonna say thank you. One, two, three. I had never been to the color run until third grade. When I went, I was like, how did I never go to this before? It was such an amazing feeling. It was my favorite project because like when we did the color, um, like it got kind of got stained on us. This totally embodies what PBL is. Um, it doesn't get any more real than this. And physically giving back to the community so well. The kids plan every part of it. Uh, it's an eight week project. Learning about perseverance to get us going for this. They uh, plan the, the map and the trail that we take. And designing the color on t-shirt. We voted on what the t-shirt was and my t-shirt won. Uh, I was just really excited. We contact sponsors in our community. Convincing people to donate. So it'll vary anywhere from 50 kids to 75 kids that are participating in the race as third graders. Each year we've had upwards of almost 300 to 400 registrations though from the community. We raise money for a different cause every year. It started off raising somewhere around $1,000. So this past year we raised money for the Neighborhood Center here in Plymouth. They give food and clothes to people that need it. We were able to raise $2,500 for our cause. And so whatever our kids are passionate about, that really drives what the 5k will benefit. We launch um, officially the week before spring break. It goes until the last week of school. So we do the second Saturday in May is always the race. And by the end they know that they can do anything and, and they're prepared to move on to fourth grade and challenge anything that comes their way. Washington Discovery Academy applied to become a New Tech Network Spotlight School. Um, it was a long application process. We worked as a team to really reflect and grow on our practices. Um, and after submitting our completed application, we were selected as a Spotlight School. I, I think it's a great honor for um, us to be kind of in the New Tech Spotlight for social emotional learning. I think this is a movement that will probably spread across the nation. And that's why I was so excited when this came about. I was like, this is something I've been wanting for years. It was so important for us to be addressing that side of students um, learning, not just the academic, but you know, are addressing the whole student. We implemented community circles, and that went so well that we kind of kept adding on and are actually implementing in our staff meetings where we were doing it also, kind of that check-in piece of talking about our social-emotional well-being. So I think it, it just became ingrained in just everything we were doing. And we each get a chance to say where we are for the day as far as our social-emotional well-being for the day. We are seeing more and more kids come to school without the skills they need socially to work problems out on their own. And um, in order to have them do that, we had to work with our staff first so that we understood how to work on um, problems that would arise in the workplace and how to talk about it with each other without getting offended. Our office staff, everybody went through our training and support, all of our support teacher, instructional aides, our cafeteria, recess helpers, all classroom teachers. And we were very intentional 
personal about um, wanting to make sure that all of our staff um, felt supported in that area so that they could help our students. Uh, once a month the support teachers meet with Mrs. Cooper and we do a um, group meeting as well. People want to know are you okay? And it's not just a question of, hey, how you doing? And then they walk away. It's not just a greeting. It's, how are you? Are you really okay? Especially in circles, if someone shares, you know, exciting news that we can celebrate throughout the week is great. Um, also, if, you know, if it, just like students, uh, staff members, if you understand there might be something challenging going on in their life at that time, it gives you a little bit more understanding and empathy uh, for that person. So we start each day with a morning meeting and we start with each child saying where they are on that social emotional scale. And sometimes everybody is a one when they go around, which they are ready to go, ready to learn. Sometimes we are more of a two. We might be a little bit tired or not feeling well or, you know, there are others that have had more traumatic things happen and there are three, a four, or a five. And so it's nice to know with our staff who needs the support and by modeling that and kind of living by that model, it helps us bring it then into the classroom. We will go in and sit in with the kids and the teacher in with their team meetings. So it's uh, helping them develop that empathy for others and realizing that there's more than just them and they need to think about others as well as themselves. Allowing students to support each other as they're learning about each other but learning also their social skills is important that we're modeling all those things as well. It's safe. We feel like we're in a safe place, we feel like we can talk to one another. And it's something that we have dedicated to that we won't ever skip. It's okay to talk about this and actually your mental health is just as important as your physical health and just as important as academics. This is a huge honor to be one of the first Spotlight Schools uh, for New Tech Network.